Welcome to Swindon 2014. Let's show you around. This is pure American modelling, look at that. Hey, you could be in the color. You could be in Colorado. It's absolutely perfect. When I first saw my first American layout like this, this this gave me more inspiration than the the British trains I'd been building at the time. Not that I wanted to model American, but the ideas that that the Americans were using back in the mid 60s to early 70s were very different approach to modelling than we were. It, in all, it's taken us about seven years to build. Somebody saw an Australian one with trees going right up to the roof. That was one bit of inspiration. And then we started talking. Somebody said he wanted to build a trestle. Somebody said we want a zigzag. And we started putting pen to paper. It's basically one of the premier shows in this area, in the south. And from our point of view, we're trying to get more invites in this area, get down into the southwest. So we want to get seen. I come from a railway family. Uh, my grandfather was a station master. I was born on the railway station, or a railway station. Uh, it's in me blood, I think, which is a bit of a cliche, but it's nonetheless true. And I think I'm trying to create something of my youth. We've come to this event because it's, it's one of the good ones on the calendar. It's got a great selection of great Western layouts, and we're, we've always had a good weekend here. It's a combination of nostalgia and, and childhood memories, I think. It's, it's, it's the childhood memories of having a model railway for a lot of people and also nostalgia of what the real railways mean and, and being able to recreate those in miniature. So this is novel because this is a round railway. Well, all we've done is photograph our favourite areas on the Yorkshire coast that we've all been to many, for many years and we've brought those pictures back and modelled our favourite buildings from Whitby, Robin Hood's Bay, Sands End and brought them all together into a railway. The show is particularly good because you get such a range of scales, time periods, uh, resources as in you can buy kits, you can buy um, model railway equipment. It, it couldn't have been a better place within the railway museum. You know, you're, you're, you're surrounded by the history. And Cliff, Gresley Beat, 1923 to 39. how long has it taken you? Uh, 24 years and with another year it will be finished. Another year? Another year. That's what you told me last year? Yeah. <laughs> and you'll tell me the same next year? Yeah, but I'm not getting any older, Pete. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting any older. <laughs> so yeah. how many wagons have you built? How many wagons? I think we've got all together, there's over 400 wagons, 100 coaches, and about 75 locos. Well, it so, is so, magnificent. Thank you. And uh, I'm glad you could come. It really is great to see a bit of northeastern in Great Western Territory. Correct, yeah. Well, next year we've got King George V and City of Truro coming back to Swindon and back to the museum. Two famous locomotives built in Swindon. We're really focusing on 2016, which is what we're celebrating is Swindon 175. It's the 175th anniversary of the birth of New Swindon. And the, and the works was created in 1841, so 2016's a massive year for us. Now, don't forget, that's this year, but we can see you next year. Back for 2015 and the 14th annual Swindon Show. <laughs>